Good morning, Parkway Scholars. This is Mr. Mendoza. I'd like to present to you a building challenge. And this challenge starts off with a little gif for you. What do you see? What do you notice? Now, this special slide, introductory slide, has a little icon over here. So if you needed to go back and watch and listen to this recording, you may do so. This is the engineering design process. There are five different categories. It starts off with ask, imagine, plan, create, and improve. Each category has different points that you have to consider when you are at that stage. This is the ask stage. What are the problems? What are the conditions? Many designers face many challenges when planning a new project. In this activity, you will test your ability to solve a design challenge based on a set of specifications or conditions. You will use your skills in solving problems, evaluating and testing prototypes and applying results to practical problems. Here is your challenge. Design a prototype of a bridge out of household materials using the following guidelines. There are three of them. The bridge must span an opening of 30 centimeters long. So the length of your bridge must be 30 centimeters long. 30 centimeters is the size or the length of a standard regular ruler. Number two, it does not need to support or be movable. So it doesn't need to have leg supports. And number three, it must not exceed the spending limit of $20 from the store. So based on what you have gathered and what you have created, it must not exceed $20. Your materials will come from the store. Imagine brainstorm ideas by clicking on the images here. So we have one, two, and three. You may certainly click on these images and it will take you to a website or even videos about bridges. Choose one idea that you will do. Imagine. So you're going to find one or two individuals to be part of your team. It could be dad, mom, or sister. Using a post-it note, a scrap piece of paper, you're going to create your own design. I suggest using a pencil and maybe an eraser to draw it out. Do some labeling. What is it that you're going to use this for? Is it going to be the post? Is it going to be at the front or the end? Is it going to go over top? When you're designing, make sure there are shapes there also. And work independently. See what each of you can come up with. Independently means by yourself. The best one. Based on your ideas and team members' ideas, you're going to choose the best one. In other words, you might be able to take your idea and another idea and put them together. Take the best of both. It is important to collaborate and figure out what is best for your team to be successful. Gather. Draw your final plan. So if you're going to amalgamate or maybe you had two choices, you might want to choose your final plan. Once you've choose this, it is important to start gathering the materials. Using household items from your home, start to gather your your gather what you can item is the type of material to be used toilet paper clay plasticine maybe play-doh straw string popsicle stick tape of any kind quantity means how much material you would use one toilet paper roll one small piece of clay one piece of straw one string 
which is 30 centimeters in length. So one string for 30 centimeters means one. One regular size popsicle stick and one 30 centimeter in length tape. This could be any kind of tape that you want. Cost is how much a material is. $1.25, 50 cents, 50 cents, $1.25, 10 cents, $2.50. Remember to stay on budget. Please stop. Listen very carefully. If there are other materials that we forgot to mention, please add them to the materials table on slide 10. This is the best part. Create. Follow your plan. Remember, you only have one plan. Start building and test it out. Be cautious of the number of items you have. You will need to multiply them. Two toilet paper could mean two times $1.25, or you can add them. $1.25 plus $1.25 gives you $2.50. Please record your expenses on the right. Where it says type here, that's where you can type. Over here is the cost. So depending on how much quantity you have, you might need to double it, triple it, or quadruple it, or even more. But make sure you have a subtotal that would go on this side. At the very end, calculate all the totals for your total cost, which will go right here. You are not allowed to go over $20. That is budgeting. Improve. Discuss what you can do better next time. Maybe you, re you repeat steps 1 to 5 to make things better. Here are some questions to think about. This is probably one of the most important part of the engineering design process. You learn based on your reflection. Here are some questions to think about. You can type it on the right hand side for each of these questions. Did you build a bridge? Yes or not? If not, explain what happened. Did your bridge meet all the conditions? If not, explain why. What if you could change two things? What would you do to make the replication challenge or the reconstruction challenge again? Describe at least two changes you would make if given the chance to redo the challenge again. Explain the reason for each change. And finally, the last slide, have fun. If you have any questions, let us know. We look forward to seeing what you have created. Thank you very much and enjoy your building challenge.